So for today, we're going to be looking at Renewal Grasps. I do know that it's been a while since we looked at an exotic. I do apologize. A lot of stuff came up. I've been making a lot more content if you guys haven't seen. So again, if you guys want to see a certain exotic, let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely get started on it. I do still have the list and the people who asked for exotics, I do apologize. Thank you for your patience and let's get into it. So for Renewal Grasp, we're going to be looking at what it actually does and that's pretty much it. I'll give you some history, but other than that, I'm not going to go really too in depth with it because this exotic did come out in Witch Queen, which is fairly new, but it has been out for two, three seasons now. So I don't think going over a build for this is necessary for a lot of exotics. So unless you specifically ask for me to do this, I would make a separate video for it. But again, uh, let's just get into it. So Renewal Graphs uh, has depths of dust field. Your dust field grenades have a much larger effect radius. Allies inside the dust field take reduced damage and targets inside the area deal reduced damage. So unfortunately, this exotic did get nerfed twice. One inadvertently uh, because the dust field grenades got an increased cooldown. So that's unfortunate. And the DR also got uh, nerfed as well. So. These exotics, I wouldn't say they're useless. They're still really good, but they're not as broken as they used to be because they were quite frankly broken. But that's pretty much it for the exotic itself. Let's actually look at the exotic itself, how it shaders, and then we'll get to the example sets in a bit. So this is Renewal Grasps. I actually like it. It looks really cool, very thematic. It looks like something out of a forge, which is kind of what you want to see. Just the geometry, the symbols, everything looks really cool. Unfortunately, I think it's one of the more finicky exotics to pair with other armor. It's so exact. And what I mean by that is, for example, if you have an exotic that looks exactly like a hive themed ornament, then it's specifically only going to look good with hive themed stuff. This is kind of the same thing. It's only going to look good with forge related items. And even then it's not going to look good most of the time, specifically since this is a hunter exotic, the raid armor from season of the forge. I don't think it looks that great with it. Although in one of the examples that I do make a look with the helmet, which I think actually does look good but any other piece just does not look good with it. The same thing for the activity armor. I think a lot of it just doesn't hit because most of the time, a lot of it is asymmetrical and the arms surprisingly are not, they're submit symmetrical. So that's already two armor sets from the season that this came out in. There is the season of the forge Eververse armor, which actually does look good with this. So just i wanted to say that out there before we look at the example sets because i'm gonna have to explain a lot for the example sets as for how it shaders it actually shaders really well the only issue i can see is the fact that the cloth armor on the forearms and even some of the bicep does not change or it, it changes color but it changes it to the off color of cloth which looks really weird at, in some shaders as you can see from Echo to Anger, it actually does take the cloth as red, which is really good. But then you get to shaders like Sato Tribe, and that's where you can really see the off color of Sato Tribe, which is that color right there. A lot, for a lot of people, they don't know that Sato Tribe actually does have an off color for the cloth, which I'm personally not the biggest fan of that color specifically. For Abyssinian Gold, it gives a much lighter gray, almost brown, almost khaki. It's really weird. Uh, so just be aware that this shader is, or this exotic taste shader is really weird on the sleeve. Other than that, the plates look really good and everything looks really good. It's just the sleeves themselves. As for the example set, I'm going to be real with you guys. Uh, this exotic has like just stumped me. Uh, there's a lot of things to it that really piss me off. Uh, the first thing is the fact that the pauldrons are just so small. They're really small. Uh, as you guys can see from Deep Explorer Vest, I think the chest piece is a little too big for the arms. I do like the helmet though. I think the helmet for Bladesmith Memory Mask is really good. <clears throat> the only thing I don't like about this set is Moonfangs maybe? I think Moonfangs, the asymmetry does not work well with this set because obviously the arms are symmet symmetrical. You're definitely going to want to have boots that are symmetrical. So I think the boots have to go. For the cloak, Forbidden Visage was an easy choice. I love Forbidden Visage. It's one of my favorite cloaks in the game. But overall, I don't think this is my best work. Uh, but I do have a second piece. And the second example set, 
I think looks better, but I do think the boots also suffer the same thing as just not being symmetrical. So for the helmet reasoning word, Wildwood mask, just because I like the mask and in combination with Cal Calamity Rig Cloak, I like it because it looks like I'm breathing through my throat. No, I'm just kidding. Like it looks really cool is what I'm trying to say. For the chest piece, we're using the Forbidden Visage Vest, which is really weird because I never really wear this chest piece. I don't know why, it looks really good. And then for the boots, we're using the Deep Explorer boots. So again, it's kind of the same problem with the Moonfang boots. I think the boots just don't look really good because of the asymmetry. Now, I didn't want to give you guys two example sets where I was like, oh, this one doesn't look good and this one doesn't look good, even though I do like how they look. It's just me being a perfectionist. Like I don't like the asymmetry of both of them. So kind of to like apologize, let's just see what we find out. And I'll actually show you what my initial video or my initial example sets were going to be. So this is my hunter. This is how he should be looking right now. And you guys will also notice that I was using blue, like for both of the example sets. That is specifically because Forbidden Visage has blue uh insignias i guess you would say or not insignias uh symbols and they don't change color so if you want to use forbidden visage which i highly recommend because they're really good shaders or they're really good pieces for this then i would suggest a blue shader or a shader that just ignores that shit outright because this actually does look cool i think this looks really cool and they probably designed it to combine it with forbidden visage my uh problem is that a, it's an Eververse uh, set, so that's pretty fucked up if they did that. And two, I don't personally like to combine a whole armor set with an exotic. I think that's lazy, personally. Uh, not saying not saying you shouldn't do it. I mean, if you do it, more power to you, man. You play the game however the hell you want to play. But don't ask me what I think about it, because then that's when I'm going to give you my honest opinion. So, at this point, I would probably keep the boots just because the the arms have all like very minimal boot uh, armor pieces and more cloth than anything else so i think the boots might be the best choice here let me just lock that uh for the chest piece i was thinking about this one i'm not gonna lie to you guys and i actually i actually fuck with that okay so let's go with this one and then for the helmet we could probably go no not this one could probably go for this one if i'm being quite honest because this actually looks pretty cool like it's already looking pretty cool to me my only issue now is i like the the boots i like it a lot with this set but i also like the cloak with this set. and this is my problem i don't like to usually combine two pieces of an armor set just because i hate myself apparently because this looks cool like i think this looks super, super cool to be fair though I don't like how much this like this it looks too ornamental to me, which probably means I want to switch something else. So let's see. Um, what do I want to go with it? Because I my my first default would be to go to this like immediately, because I think the Canis Luna cloak is an easy dub. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be referring this to a lot of people when it, the Halloween event comes out because. The cloak is one of the best cloaks in the game. It makes almost any piece look amazing. And then this one, this one's no different. Like this looks cool already. So for shader, I think we would switch out because the blue on the lines don't really matter. So you could combine it with other stuff and you can barely see it there. The only problem is this does have lights, but I don't think that's such a massive problem that it will stop me from using it. Cause this looks cool too but amethyst veil is kind of overplayed even though it's one of my favorite shaders people are gonna be like amethyst veil so original <laughs> whatever dog you can get over yourself this actually looks really good you'd rarely see the red on Warbrick, and it looks really good i just don't like i don't like the white on the arms which this is this is where the off color comes in because You'll like, you'll like, like this say, like the, everything here you'll like, but then the arms just like, oh, I'm not a feeling that even though the boots do have white, so it does equal out. Um, uh, we'll lock it, but I'm definitely thinking about other stuff. And yeah, this is like a majority of my time just going through 
No. So we're just going to do this maybe. Yeah, because like this looks cool. Like this definitely looks cool. I think Sato Tribe is definitely a shader I crutch on a lot. Uh, but for like good reason, because the shader looks amazing. It's one of the best shaders ever. I, I'm going to say ever, but from Season of the Forge, definitely. Because House of Marin and Rasmussen class or clan just they suffer from the same problem that their off color for cloth is yellow. And I'm just like, couldn't you have made Rasmussen like off color, like a lighter green or anything else other than yellow? But I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, let me see. What about this one? This doesn't look terrible. I don't want gold on this piece though. Cause it's not a gold piece for me. What about this one? There's orange in there and then the off color. I'm not liking even though they, okay. So there's off color here. Like I got to remember like the off color is here, but there's also the off color on the actual boot. So I have to give it a chance as well. Let me see what about this one off color is red or is it? I guess it is. That's weird. Well, this doesn't look terrible. I just, I think this looks so cool. If I can find a helmet that has white, I think that'll even it out for me, or at least in my head. Fuck, I was really hoping this was gonna be white. Um, uh, what about, that's, why does that look good though? Uh, let me see, let me see. There is this one right here, white. There is white, but I don't think it's gonna go well with the full set. The glow's white. Do I want to go for a, the glow look? The glow's not white. The glow's like light pinkish. Uh, doesn't look terrible. Yeah, this is like, I apologize if this is a little boring for you guys, but I want to give you guys something that I am actually proud of. And this is just my process. Unfortunately, it, it takes a while. But hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Hopefully you guys enjoy the transparency because this is really me just trying to make a set that looks good for you guys. Because I don't want to give you guys two sets where I'm just like, this is the best I got and not do anything else because this exotic has been very challenging for me. And what was the... No, no, I don't want to use that one. Let's, fuck it, we'll do this one. Uh, we'll change off the shader. Uh, let me see. I don't, I also don't want to use red because I know people are like fucking finicky with red and black, especially on a hunter. People are like, oh, red and black on a hunter are so original. And I'm like, bro, like, just let me live my life. Uh, you know what? I might, I don't hate this, but again, I don't think gold is the option for this set because it, it, this is much more of a casual hunter for me, not casual, but like. Like a casually armored hunter, I guess you would say. <sighs> that looks cool, but it's more of that shader just looks good. All right, I didn't want to do this, but let's go to some some D1 shade or D2 vanilla shaders. I feel like that'll be like, OK. OK, see, this looks good, though. Like this actually looks good. So let's go back to the cloak because I don't want to keep this cloak. I'll actually hold on, hold on. Before I say that, let me just lock that bitch because it might just be this cloak. Unfortunately, I say unfortunately because I do crutch on that cloak about a lot too. But it's hard not to crutch on pieces when other pieces don't look good and or you don't have them unlocked because Bungie has this asinine system. Um, yo, this doesn't look terrible though. Oh shit. I actually like this. I like it because the Moonfang cloak is like up here. It almost looks like the cloak is, or the like scarf piece is going under the armor, which is really cool. Holy fuck. I think I, I might change the helmet actually. Not this one. No. Do I even want to change the helmet at this point? There is, I was thinking about this one, which mm, too, it's too specific. And this is the problem. I think the arms are just way too specific, which is the part like biggest problem for me. I might just stick with this one, man. Uh, 
The other problem with this cloak, oh fuck. The other problem with this cloak is that it's like makes you bald if you're wearing the, the wrong type of helmet. This looks good, man. I'm not gonna lie. I think the shader is probably the only thing that bugs me now, which is funny. Let me see. Uh, what about this one? No. I would, dude. I really. Ooh, why is this hard? That's hard. Okay, okay, okay. So iron is steel. This isn't fairy. This shader is like one of the best shaders in the game, and I feel bad if you didn't get this. Uh, what about? I'm going go back to it. Why does that look hard though? Okay, this is the set, guys. This is the set. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I think this looks way better than the two example sets that I made. It's funny too because I did think about using the Verlin uh, vest. It's one of my favorite chest pieces for like very minimalistic armor. And the Forbidden Visage strides. I knew I should have gone with my gut because that's literally what my head went. I was like, I should probably use the Forbidden Visage boots just because they're the better pieces from the Forbidden Visage. But I decided to be extra and use the chest piece in the cloak, even though my gut already knew, like, this is the best piece from the whole set. Why are you trying to do so? Mm, I don't know about that one. So, yeah, I think the helmet's the only piece where I'm like, it could be better. It definitely could be better. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts on this because uh, I'm not like... I'm not all knowing. I'm not the best in fashion. I personally don't think I'm that great at it. Uh, so I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Do I think this looks good? Definitely. I definitely think this looks good. Yeah, that, that's it. This is a set. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I, it's funny too, because like this is a stasis exotic, but with the red, it just kind of looks... It kind of looks mean. And last but not least, we have the red and black sets that was asked for. Now, this one is a combination of the first and the second look. And it's literally just my tactical look on top of these arms. I actually do like this look. It actually looks really cool. I love the chest piece that has white and, and red on it. The same thing with the arms. And overall, I think this is a really good set. If you did want to switch some things out, I think the boots could be switched out for uh these right here the psionic stalker stuff and then from there you would probably switch out the cloak with this one so that way you guys can at least see the nets right here match really well with the nets here and i would probably end up switching the helmet as well with probably something like this this is really good if you want something with red or maybe this one there's a lot of tactical stuff you could do with it but i would probably pair it with the other stuff just because it 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 looks smaller if i'm being honest a lot of this just looks very tight and the chest piece is the only piece that's actually pretty bulky and the last set is actually the set we made previously but with bloody tooth on top of it i really like bloody tooth it's a really good black and red shader although the red could be a little bit brighter and better but Overall, I do like this shader a lot just because it is a really good black and red shader. Just for me, the red is just lacking. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I do apologize that this video took this long and the fact that the first two example sets were not to my liking. To be fair, I like everything just the waist down. I think the boots being asymmetrical was the problem. And I think the solution would just be to switch out the boots with something else. I still stand by those armor sets. I just think the boots are just the only thing that you can really switch out and it'd look amazing. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys want to see an another exotic, let me know. I'll obviously do it. And well, I mean, I'll try, I should say. And I'll see you guys later.